Yo, what's going on today, guys? So today we're going to be reviewing the New Balance 574 Yurts with collaboration with Salehi Binberry. Um, pretty much those of you that have not seen the shoe, uh, I'll be getting into detail pretty soon. But for those of you that did see the shoe, uh, you guys know that the shoe did release late October 22nd of last year uh retailing for 150 dollars i was able to finally cop some uh it's a sneaker that i did always wanted my collection but i was kind of hesitant on pulling the trigger but hey i finally pulled the trigger so for those of you like i said that have not seen the shoe this is going to be a new balance 74 yurt um this is going to be the lid top of the box this is a yurt for those of you that are asking um the box is pretty cool man so you have the piece b the journey on one side of the box and then on the other side you have some yurts right here um with the lady benberry right there and then on this side it's pretty much going to be model number ms 574 ysc uh these are a size 12 which is pretty much my standard uh, New Balance uh, shoe size. Opening up the box, you are greeted with, um, I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know what to call them. I'll just say some Forrest Yurt Men. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much how the lid looks. Um, I was able to cop these off Stock X. Um, like I said, they did retail for $150. So on StockX, uh, this is pretty much what I paid for them. So the color itself is gonna be a New Balance, uh, my bad, the color itself is gonna be a shark skin uh, color. They also do have another color, which is a forest green that I'll leave at the top. But this is pretty much what I paid for it, uh, 249 uh, with a sales tax of two, uh, 23.99. Processing fee was eleven twenty one, and then shipping was thirteen ninety five, so a grand total of uh, two ninety eight fourteen. Um, like I said, if you guys do like this shoe after this review, you guys could check out how much your sizes cost. Different sizes vary, different prices. But uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so before we get into the shoe breakdown, if you guys are new to the channel, I appreciate it if you guys uh, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that like button and make sure you hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest videos that I'll be dropping. Uh, so now that we got that out the way, let's get started on the shoe breakdown. So starting off with the toe area, you do have some hairy gray suede on your right hand side. And then on this left hand side, you're going to have that leather uh, that follows along the side of the toe area. And then on front, on the toe box, you do have some breathable uh, mesh, which is uh, Salehi's, um, pretty much his design that he uses on all of his shoes. So he has that breathable mesh up front. And then you have your overlays with that gray, which is gonna be a reflected uh, gray and then making our way up to the side, you have that New Balance logo with the reflected also. And then you have your uh, Salehi Benberry tag right there. And then on your ankle area, you do have that uh, breathable mesh that pretty much flows all the way around with that hairy gray suede that follows alongside of the shoe also. And then making your way to the your midsole area, you do have your Absorb uh, technology in this midsole area. And then you are also having your roll bar down here, pretty much helps you with uh, uh, stabilization. And then on your back, you have the famous yurt whistle. Now it says, Remove in case of an emergency. So if you're ever in the forest, you ever need help, stranded somewhere, stuck on the side of the road, nobody's giving you a ride, pretty much pull this off, blow that whistle like Too Short says, and you will get help. Guarantee it, man. <laughs> but you do have a beefy, uh, it's pretty much like a beefy shoe, man. It is 
way different from your typical uh, 574. And then on your inside, you still have your New Balance logo. Now the transition uh, from this gray right here to the white is pretty dope. And then, like I said, you got your roll bar technology right here. And then right here, you have a different type of uh, roll bar technology on this side. So that's pretty dope. Um, what else? Your tongue area is going to be your hairy suede uh, in that gray material. And then it's cool how they did the tongue. It's like an unfinished uh, tongue right here. So that's pretty dope. And then it just says New Balance 574 uh, Yurt. Um, anything crazy on the inside? Nothing too crazy on the inside. You do have this crazy uh, sole. So it's pretty dope. Pretty thin, though. But the shoe makes up for all that comfort. But it's pretty dope design. It's like a, like a rough um, 3D effect type of uh, insole. So let me see. The bottom. The bottom, super traction, man. Super traction. It's uh, a lot beefier than your typical 574, like I said. Um, this is more of like, I would say like an outdoor hiking shoe, um, if you're going to use it for that. So as you can see, it's like very, you know, the grooves in there are pretty much hell of a, hell of groovy. <laughs> and then you have your back, um, your back hill tab area right here. Pretty much, you know, does that. So, if you want to compare it to a regular 574, um, these are the S&S 574s. So, putting these side by side, you could definitely see the difference. You know, let you guys see that, how it looks on the sides. Let's see, there we go. And then... You know, pretty much doing a comparison. You guys see the bottoms. See, so you guys could kind of see what I'm talking about. So on the regular uh, 574, there's still some, you know, some roughing, some rough right here, rough grooves right here. But it's not like this uh, on the 574 yard. The traction on this is going to be uh, more, more bulkier on that traction. And then just putting the shoes side by side, man. You guys can see like the how big the yurt is. Now it's not like super big. I'll let you guys see how it looks on feet. Um, but you guys, so you guys can get an idea if you guys haven't not seen these in person. Uh, pretty much how they do look. And I will blow that whistle for you guys, like Too Short says. So I'm gonna pretty much skip to that clip so you guys can see how they look on feet. You guys can hear how the whistle sounds, and then I'll come back to you guys. Yes, I joined the family. That's it! Yurt! So pretty much, like I said, uh, this is going to be the 574 Yurts. I did pick these up off Stock X for the price that I showed you guys earlier. If you guys are interested in these shoes, uh, you guys can head over to Stock X. The price might change, man. Depending on your guys' size, it might be less. It might be more. I don't know what size shoe you guys wear, but you guys can go over there and give it a look and see what you guys, uh, if they have something that you guys want to cop. But like I said, they do come in another color, which is uh, the forest green color, if you guys want to check those out also. But uh, yeah, the shark skin gray, man, can't go wrong with that gray. Definitely can't go wrong with it. But uh, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And don't forget that no uh, to hit that notification bell. Till next time, you guys stay safe.